Hey guys, welcome back to Front Seat Driver. My name is Jason. Today we are back here at Corvette Warehouse. We are going to hit every Corvette that they have. <laughs> we had to move a bunch of them outside because there's not enough room. They have so many cars. So we're going to hit all of them on the inside showroom. Then we're going to run out and we're going to hit the ones on the outside. But I am breaking this up into a couple of videos. We're going to do C7s and C8s. And I have a separate video for C6. And I think there's a couple C5s, but we're going to hit all of them. Some of them may be inside, some may be outside. Stay tuned. All right, guys, we're going to start out with the king of the hill right here. This is a 23 Amplify Orange Z06 hardtop convertible. It has 1147 miles, 159,995. It is a 3LZ. So, boy, this is really, in my opinion, very supercar-esque inside. There is no question. The interior is really stepped up. Again, 3LZ on here. So you're getting pretty much everything. And it does have the front end lift as well. So you guys know that is pretty important when your car sets low. One of the huge regrets I have when I built my car, I did not do the front end lift and I now wish I did. So here we have a 2023 Rapid Blue and those of you who remember my original Grand Sport, I had the tension blue interior and I loved that. When they came out with the C8, they offered it as an option only on the three LTs though. This is uh, tension blue and twilight blue interior. It comes with blue seat belts. Very nice stealth package on this convertible. This one also has bright red brake calipers. So uh, this one is a three LT and it's 3,843 on the miles, 92,995 on the price. We have another 23 right here. This one has the black exhaust tips. Now this one is a Z51, it has the high wing spoiler. Check this out, all exposed carbon fiber. Looking fantastic. This one has the forged wheels. This one also has the competition seats. So, the other one had the GT2. This is your comp seats. They're a little more snug for track days. It also has the weather textile floor mats. And this one is also a convertible. Carbon flash black badging. This one also has a front splitter. The one that we just looked at did not have the front splitter, but this one does. And it has 3,327 miles, 97,995 on the price for this one. And Rapid Blue number three is a 2020 Z51, edge yellow brake calipers. Now this one has the chrome tips as opposed to the black tips. It has carbon flash black wheels. It does have a little winglet right here, a 5VM style winglet in carbon fiber. And this thing is drenched inside with carbon fiber. Just check this out. This one also has the GT2 seats, but look at all the exposed carbon fiber inside here. We won't even get into my feelings on carbon fiber because I'm pretty sure everyone already knows I am a huge fan, but even on the door sills here, right there on the speaker, this one is a 2LT. It has 25,000 miles. It has mag ride, PDR, the price on this one is $69,995. All right, that's the three Rapid Blues. Let's move on to some C7s. Okay, I said we were moving on, but guess what? We're not. We have one more Arctic White right here. Arctic White with adrenaline red interior. This is a 2LT. But just check out that red interior. Very nice. This one is a coupe. It has black brake calipers on here. But again, on this Arctic White 21, you're looking at 11, 597 on the miles, 72, 995 is the price. And now we're headed to about, I don't know, quite a few of the C7s. Let's hit those now. All right, guys, it is time again for you to take your chance at winning a 2024 Corvette Z06. You can get entered for as little as $25, and with that $25 purchase, you actually get a five-ticket 
additional promotion just for doing it from the link in the description down below and being, of course, a Horsepower Obsessed fan. You click on that link, it's going to give you five additional tickets for the same exact $25 cost, or you could go as high as $1,000. It doesn't matter. If you want to go all out on this thing and really get a good chance of winning this car, either way, you will get an extra 25% more entries on each ticket package purchased. The details of this car, like I said, it's a 2024 Z06, 2LZ trim package, Arctic white exterior, adrenaline red slash black two-tone interior, the competition sports seats, bright red brake calipers, red seat belts, gloss black wheels, engine appearance package, and black exhaust tips. The end date for this, guys, is August 25th of 2024, so this is a little bit of a longer running one, but do not waste any time. Get entered to win this thing right now, or worst case scenario, you don't want the car, you can take the grand prize cash option as $100,000. Either way, jump in here, get your 25% extra tickets, and maybe you'll be the proud new owner of this Z06. Okay, so now we're moving on to the C7s. So this is a 2019 Grand Sport. This one has 9,047 miles, 67,995. It is a 2LT. One thing I want to mention is a lot of people think that the Grand Sport is like the sweet spot between the Stingray and the Z06 for a track car. I heard so many great things about the, Z the Grand Sport when I had mine on the track. It was phenomenal because you can get the power down. It's got the wider wheels to really be able to keep you on the track. This one is a manual transmission. So for those of you that are manual fans like myself, there you go. It does have a red interior. Again, 9,000 miles, 9,047, it's 67,995. This one has the three quarter length side skirts, stage one on the rear spoiler and stage one on the front splitter. And these cameras will definitely save you pulling this car in because my goodness, so let me show you right there. There's two of these, one on each side. This car is very tough to crash into a wall when you're trying to pull an Aura curb. So it's very, very important to have those. This one is a 2015 Stingray, 21,174 miles, 50,995. This is a Z51 3LT, Arctic white with red interior. This one is also an automatic. This one even has the Z51 spoiler and carbon flash. The Z51 wheels and carbon flash and bright red brake calipers. All right, moving on. We have a 2015 Laguna Blue Stingray. And this one has chrome badges and the little Stingray on the hood on the Stinger stripe. 21,000, 22 miles, 48, 995. It is a 2LT MPP. It has the Kalahari interior and another manual. Quite a few manuals in here today, which is nice to see because I know a lot of people, you know, everybody can drive a, an auto. Some people can't drive the manual, so they don't want the manual. Other people absolutely live and die by it. But anyway, here we go, shark gray. This is my personal opinion, one of the best colors ever. Shark gray, 2016, 29,080 miles, 54, 995, Z51, two LT, black interior. This one is automatic and it has the carbon fiber roof, the Z51 carbon flash rear spoiler, and the brake calipers are black. And check this one out. So they went ahead and blacked out the little chrome piece in the front. This is something I personally would like if I have a Stingray. Now this one is chrome, but with the chrome wheels, the chrome badging, I feel like it definitely matches, it all ties together. But my, again, my opinion, when you have the carbon flash black badging, I personally would just black that out. Much like this one right here, same way, it's blacked out. Now this is a 2016 black, very low miles, 3,882, 53,995. It has the bright red brake calipers, full length side skirts, the Z51 spoiler. This is a Z51 2LT. This coupe is also an automatic with black interior. All right, now we have another Arctic white. Arctic white is another color that seems fairly common. I don't know where it lands on the production numbers, but it's, it's still pretty common. So this is an Arctic white Stingray 2014. Nice convertible. I believe we've seen this one in the past. Really like this one. It's got the black Z51 wheels, 53,000. 
109 miles, 43,995. And yes, this one is also a manual transmission with the chrome badging. All right, let's head over there. Then we're gonna go outside. 2014 Arctic White Stingray, 7,313 miles, 50,995. This is a Z51 3LT. It has carbon flash here on the top. Very nice. And it has the Z51 carbon flash spoiler. Bright red brake calipers. I like those bright, bright red brake calipers. They really pop. And it's got red and black interior. This one is an automatic. Here we go, torch red on this 2014. Steve knows a thing or two about this car. So you guys know protective dad pranks, my friend. This is the exact same way his car came pretty much when he got his, although this one has the Z06 style front grille on here. And it has 32,392 miles, 45,995 is a 3LT. It is also a manual transmission Z51 with, oh, sorry, non-Z51 with bright red brake calipers. Next up, we have a 2016 Corvette Z06. This is a 2LZ, and you have your stage two rear spoiler right there. You have the full length side skirts. This one is also an automatic bright red brake calipers, 9,370 miles. 73,995 on the price. Let's take a look at the interior. Really good condition. Here is a great, I, I'll be honest with you, I have a lot of favorite colors, but Laguna Blue is probably one of my absolute favorites. This is a 2016 Laguna Blue with bright red brake calipers, chrome wheels, carbon flash, black badging, it has a stage one front splitter. It does not have side skirts and it has a stage one rear spoiler. It is a two LZ. It is automatic with black interior. But uh, yeah, like I said, I know some people are like, I don't want to hear your, your opinion on cars. Hey, guess what? My channel, my opinions. <laughs> so I don't mean to be rude, but hey, it's who I am. If you want, to see my videos, you're gonna get my opinions, but I absolutely love Corvettes, so I rarely have anything too negative to say. <laughs> I had to stop and look at the color. I should have known because it's a 2015. 2015 is gonna be Blade Silver. As you know, my friend, go follow him, Dad's Garage. He has a Blade Silver Z06 2015 as well. This Stingray has 65,101 miles, 42,995 is the price. This one has chrome wheels, black brake calipers. I believe that it's an auto, let's see. And yes, it is automatic with black interior. And of course you have your Z51 spoiler right there and it is paint matched. Next up we have a crystal red C7 Z06. Okay, yeah, obviously I'm just kidding about every bit of that. I don't know what color this is. I don't know what year this is. All I know is it's Doug's car and it's pretty cool. He, like I told you guys before, the owner of Corvette Warehouse is definitely a fan of Corvettes. He has a lot of classics because he has this one right here, those two right here that he owns. They say they're not for sale. And then he has a C3 that's outside that is silver. So this is somebody who really has an appreciation for Corvettes. 2015 Crystal Red C7 Stingray. This one has chrome wheels, bright red brake calipers. It's 41,232 miles, 43,995. This is a 3LT. It has a Z51 spoiler and carbon flash on the back. And this one is an automatic with black interior. 2016 Arctic White Stingray. This one has 41,316 miles. 49,995, it is a 3LT convertible. Z51 spoiler, chrome badging, and I don't know the name of the color, so if you guys know, feel free to leave it down in the description, but it's, uh, it's almost like the twilight blue, but I don't think it's called twilight blue. I don't know. I will let one of the experts in here let me know. <laughs> so anyway, 
This one's also available right now. I think that's it for the C7s inside. We're gonna run outside and see what else is out there. All right, it's a little windy out here. Hopefully my microphone does okay. We have a 2018 Arctic White C7 Z06. This one is a Z07 package as well. It has yellow brake calipers. This one is an automatic, 13,498 miles, 79,995. So of course you have your stage three rear spoiler on here and it is locked because it's outside. Chrome wheels, absolutely a beautiful spec. We have nice Corvette Racing Yellow. I think it's Corvette Racing Yellow. Let's find out if it's Corvette Racing or Millennium. Oh no, sorry, Velocity, Velocity Yellow. I didn't think they did Corvette Racing Yellow until 2015. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. I can't remember what year. I should know seeing as I have a, you know, Corvette in, in Corvette Racing Yellow. But uh, 2014, 51,996 on the miles, 38. 995. This one has chrome wheels and gray brake calipers. It is a 3LT. All right, we're going to skip a couple. So we have another Lime Rock. This is the one I talked to you guys about last week or recently, the Lime Rock right here. This one is sold on this convertible, but uh, I really like the Lime Rock. What do you guys think? I know a lot of people said they really did like it. Um, anyway, this one has a yellow brake calipers on this coupe. I don't have pricing for you, and it has the cool interior that my mind is suddenly blank. It's the uh, brownstone, I believe is what it's called. <laughs> so, you know, when I get on video, sometimes things in my brain just shut off. I don't know why they do that, but they do. Another one right here. And I'll tell you what, guys, we're gonna stop right here. Steve's calling me, and we're gonna pick up here in just one second. All right, we're about to go to lunch, so Steve was calling to make sure I was ready. We have a 2014 Stingray Crystal Red, 15,270 miles, 50,995. It is a Z51 3LT. Oh, and it is a manual, and it has the transparent top. The Z51 spoiler is body paint matched. Chrome badging on here, and now we have another one that I believe is La uh, Laguna. Yeah, this is Laguna Blue. See, I'm telling you, my brain shuts off. Long Beach Red. I believe this is Long Beach Red. I don't have the info, but it's probably going to be on the website soon if it's not already. So if this is one that you'd be interested in, I would definitely check out CorvetteWarehouse.com. Carbon fiber on the front stinger. And I think it's called Morello Red. Again, don't quote me, because I'm not 100% sure, but I think it's Morello Red on the interior. And a nice Sebring Orange Grand Sport. This is the one that has the Edelbrock Supercharger on it. It is a 2LT, 2019, 7701 on the miles, 71,995. I can't remember what Doug told me, but I'm feeling like he said it was about 15 grand to have the Edelbrock and Charger installed, including you know materials and labor, not labor obviously. But uh, this one is available. And then we have another 17 Arctic White here, but uh, we don't have any info on it, but this one will probably either be coming up or is on the website. They did just get a bunch of new cars, so some of the cars won't have information on them just yet, but they will be coming up. One more right here. Now, this one is a manual transmission. This is a 2016, 105,000 miles. My goodness, 37,995 Z51. This one is, is uh, also a manual transmission, but let's look at the interior on here. Ah, they locked it. It was open a minute ago. So, very nice. This one has black wheels. So if you're interested, check out the, the Corvette Warehouse website. Again, www.corvettewarehouse.com. I'm gonna look over here, see if there's any other C7s. I don't think that there are. No. By the way, I don't know if you can see it right there. That C3, yep, that is Doug's C3 as well. So he's got a handful of Corvettes himself. Huge fan, he's always been a fan from back, way back in the day. So that's gonna do it. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. 
and that's gonna do it. We're gonna go head, I'm gonna go eat lunch. Steve's here, we're gonna go eat lunch somewhere. We're gonna come back and I'm gonna do the C6 video, so stay tuned.